At meron po tayong 40 young leaders na pumasok po dyan. At gusto po nila, sila po ay mga servants na, sila po ay workers na, some of them are leaders, leaders of the church. Pero gusto pa po nila to go to the next level of their leadership and their calling. Kaya ayan po sila. Sama-sama po sila nandyan. So to summarize, alam niyo po, these are the next steps that you could take whatever uh, position you are in the ministry or in your calling. You can join a C2S group. Sabi ko nga po last month, paglabas niyo pa lang sa exit doors po ng ating simbahan, meron na po tayong mga workers who would gladly welcome you into their ministry, into their connect group. And kung uh, hindi pa po tayo willing po doon, meron po tayong Saturday groups. Meron po tayong Saturday crews with the men, ladies, young adult, youth. And pwede po natin mahanap yung mga kabarkada po natin doon. Or siguro kung tayo po ay part na po ng fellowship, maybe this is a time for you to serve in our word uh, department. Sa po sa mga nagtaas ng kamay, sila po yung mag a po sa inyo. And sa matatagal na pong leaders, uh, workers of church, you may still grow in your calling through CLDP and Life Institute. So ano pong ibig sabihin po yan, wherever you are, at what point you are in the ministry, in your Christianity, in your walk sa buhay, may magandang path na hinanda ang Panginoon para sa inyong buhay. Amen po ba yun? Sige po, palakpakan po natin si Lord. Bakit po? Kasi po, ito po yung situation ng ating simbahan ngayon. Ito po ang situation po ng ating bansa ngayon. Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 9, verse 37, it says to His disciples, The harvest is truly plentiful. To be, to be exact, in the Philippines, 111 million souls ang gusto nating abutin. Pero na pong sitwasyon, but the laborers are few, the volunteers are few, the workers are few, the leaders are few. Yan po yung problema po natin ngayon. Ngayon po, pinoproblema ko po ngayon yan. Yan ano pong pwede po natin gawin? Kung tatanungin natin si Lord, so Lord, anong gagawin ko? Lord, anong gagawin ng aming church? And Jesus Christ is giving His word to us. Therefore, Therefore, pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into His harvest. Madalangin daw po tayo sa buhay na Diyos at yung ating buhay na Diyos ang mag-provide ng mga kailangan natin sa ating buhay. Hallelujah! Let's give God a praise. So today is the very thing we're gonna do. Kung maalala niyo po last month, we talked about that word is our lifestyle and you are part of it. You may be part of it. And this is our prayer to Jesus Christ. This is our prayer to God. God, under the worship department, we are praying for more Levites who will join the ministry to usher your people into your most holy presence. Lord God, we are praying for our outreach department who are here right now. We are praying for more evangelists, people who has that deep desire, deep burden to save one more soul from hell. Lord God, we are praying for our relationship department who are here as well in this service. Lord God, we pray for more connections, Lord God, that we may distribute them into the ministries. Lord God, we are praying for our discipleship department. Lord God, we need more leaders because we are in a leadership crisis. We need more high-caliber leaders. And Lord God, we are praying for our administration department. Lord God, we want more full-time workers here this, in this church. Bakit po? Because our church is just getting started at may mas malaki pang plano ang Panginoon para sa ating buhay. Sige po, palakpangan po natin si Lord. Hallelujah. At mangyayari po kaya yan in our lifetime. Mangyayari, may experience kaya po natin to. And Jesus Christ is assuring us, bakit po? Sinasabi niya po para sa atin, I am the true vine. And my Father is the vine dresser. At ano pong ibig sabihin if God is the vine dresser? Ang ibig sabihin po pala niyan in Greek is Georgos. Kaya dyan po namin kinuha yung uh, name po ng aming second daughter, si Georgie or Georgina. At ano po ibig sabihin ng Georgos? It means the worker of the soil or the farmer. At si God daw po yun, He is the vine dresser. At kung si God daw po yung vine dresser, what does it apply to us? God is the head of this vineyard. Amen po ba yun? God is the head creator, the head designer of this vineyard. Kaya ano po bang marirealize po natin dyan? Ano po ba yung, nakita nyo na ba ang creation ng ating Panginoon? Gusto ko pong ipakita po sa inyo po yung picture po nito. Sino pong makakahula kung ano po yan? So, nung ako pong una ko pong nakita ko, meron yan, top view ng isang country. So, nung iba ko natanungan, parang ganun din daw po yung itsura po niya. Pero nung binabasa ko na po yung caption ng picture po na yan, ito po pala yan, it is the latest, most detailed model of a human cell. So, yan po ay nasa loob po natin ngayon. 
So, nung nag-aaral po ako ng science, kasakala ko yung isang sila ay black and white na. Ngayon po meron pong detailed model na ito po pala ay makulay, ito ganito po pala at ka-detail, dinasay ni Lord, wonderful, beautiful. Kaya ano pong impact niya para sa ating buhay? Kung yung maliit na human cell ay detailed si Lord i-design, paano pa kaya yung mas magandang plano niya para sa buhay mo ngayon? Amen po ba yun? Sige po pala, pangangko natin si Lord. That's the beauty of God. He's our blind dresser. He is our creator. He is our architect. He is our engineer. At kapag si Lord ang nagbihis sa atin, wow, truly, we are beautifully and wonderfully made by God. Kasi human cell, ganyan niya dinesign. Paano pa yung future natin? Paano pa yung mga plano ng Panginoon para sa atin? Ganyan din po kaganda. At sino po nagsasabi dito, na gusto niya ma-experience yung majesty ng Panginoon sa kanyang buhay. Gusto niya pa ba ma-experience ang kapangyarihan ng Panginoon sa inyong buhay? Amen. Ako, sige po, palakpahan natin si Lord. I want to experience this in my life. I want to experience the design of God in my life. Therefore, this is the challenge to every Christian, to every believer, to every member who is sitting in these seats right now. It's time to take the next step our lives. It's time to take the next step of our Christianity. It's time to make, take the next step of our calling. At yan po yung pinunta ko po dito. That's why I'm preaching God's word in front of you thousands of people here right now. To share this word, to challenge you to take the next step. Bakit? Ang sarap po sa calling ng Painoon para sa ating buhay. Amen. Sino ba lang po na si Lord? That's why I would like to share you my calling. Alam niyo po, in 2013, God called me to be the musician's ministry head. And nakareceive ko po yung aking calling in Psalm 23. Yan po yung calling niya sa akin at that time, my first calling. And a year later, in 2014, tinawag po ko ni Lord to be the national youth director. At sa niya naman po ako tinawag, tinawag niya po ako sa Deuteronomy chapter 11. And in 2015, ako po ay nagtatrabaho po po noon in a career at plano ko po magtayo na ng aking sariling business. Pero tinawag na po ako ni Lord to be a full-time. At saan niya po ako tinawag in Jeremiah chapter 1. Kaya po ako nag-decide to, full, to go full-time kasi may calling ako na nagaling po sa Panginoon. At ano po masasabi ko po sa calling, up to this very day na nakatayo po ako sa inyong harapan, I'm still in the discovery process of God's calling for my life. At ano pong nangyayari po sa aking buhay ngayon? Nai-enjoy ko po yung discovery process po nito because as I take the next step closer to God's calling, mas nadi-discover ko po kung gano'n po kagaling at kagrabe po kung ino sa Panginoon sa aking buhay. Hallelujah! Let's give God a praise! At gusto ko po na experience you din po yung na-experience ko. Ma-experience you din po yung na-experience ng mga naglilingkot kay Lord. Bakit po ako personally, I could only testify one thing in my calling. Ito po ang aking na-realize. God's provision and protection is in your calling. Amen po ba yun? Sige po pala, pangarap natin si Lord. God's provision and protection is in your calling. I feel so much blessed na talagang nag-provide si Lord para sa aking buhay. Niminsan, hindi nagkulang si Lord para sa aking buhay. And parang sobra-sobra na yun, okay na yun. Pero para protektahan pa ni Lord yung pre-provide niya para sa aking buhay, wow, hindi na mababayaran po yun. Uh, to be provided with a complete family at pinoprotektahan niya po hanggang ngayon. We don't have a broken family. Praise the Lord. Hindi po mababayaran po yun. Yung pinoprovide ni Lord po para sa aking buhay, hindi na pupunta sa hospital bills because God's protection is upon my life, is upon my family. At si Lord po naglalayo ng sickness sa aming buhay. Amen. Pwede mo rin ma-experience yun. Yung provision ni Lord, yung protection ni Lord in your calling doon po natin pwede ma-experience po yun. And right now, where is God calling me? He is calling me right now in Revelation chapter 3 verse 8 and it says there, I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door that no one can shut. Bakit? For you have a little strength. Have kept my word. Have kept my calling. Have kept the plans I have for you. And you have not denied my name. Ito po yung mensahe, yung stronghold, yung word na pinangahawakan ko sa aking buhay po ngayon. At anong maganda po na alam ko na po yung aking vineyard, yung open door po na yan, hindi ko po kiniklaim for my career. Hindi po ako naghahanap ng higher position sa aking trabaho. Hindi ko po kiniklaim yan na magkaroon pa ako ng mas maraming business because that is not my vineyard. 
my vineyard is in God's calling. At saan ko po kiniklaim ang open door po nito? Kiniklaim po natin yan sa born again Pilipinas that it will happen in our lifetime. Amen. Sige po, palapakan po natin si Lord. Hallelujah. And I believe God will be opening new doors for born again Pilipinas to happen. That's why you gotta be ready for more. We gotta be ready for the harvest because it is God who will be opening these doors for all of us. Amen po ba yun? Amen. Kaya po pala sinasabi po ni Lord in Matthew chapter 9 verse 37, that's why the harvest is plentiful. 111 million souls is just waiting out there. But the laborers are few. The workers are few. The volunteers are few. The leaders are few. So right now we're praying to God. Here I am praying to God, challenging the congregation. Let's take the next step of our calling because the laborers are few. At paano po nasabi po ni Jesus Christ po when we go back to the previous verse in verse 36? Because He saw the multitudes. He saw the people. Jesus Christ saw the people. Jesus Christ sees the Philippines right now. And He was moved with compassion for them. He was moved with compassion for us because He saw that the people were weary. They were all scattered. They were like sheep without a shepherd. Yan po yung nakita niya po in His time. And hindi po ba yan din po yung nangyayari po sa panahon po natin ngayon in the middle of this pandemic, the people are getting tired, the people are losing hope, the people are getting depressed, the people are committing suicide, the people has no direction, no one is leading them, our, our country is in chaos, the whole world actually is in chaos. Ito po yung nangyayari po sa atin. And I believe you see it. We see what's happening in our land, but what are we gonna do about it? Are we moved with compassion to do something about it? At alam mo, paano po nakita po ni Jesus Christ po yan? Because in the previous verse again, kaya niya nasabi yan, because Jesus Christ went all about the cities and the villages. And do you want to be like Jesus Christ in the middle of this pandemic? You see po ba I want to be like Jesus Christ in the middle of this pandemic. And Jesus Christ didn't move forward just sitting down. Jesus Christ went out from his house, went about all the cities, all the villages, all the subdivisions, all the barangays. Umikot-ikot po siya at ano pong ginawa po ni Jesus Christ? He was teaching the gospel to the synagogues. He was discipling people. He was preaching the gospel of the kingdom of heaven, of salvation, and he evangelized was Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ was healing every sickness, every disease among the people. Jesus Christ was doing something in the middle of this pandemic. Amen po ba yun? That's our God. That's our model, Jesus Christ. And what is Jesus Christ telling you today? Jesus Christ can use you as well in the middle of this pandemic. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sige po palapang po natin si Lord. In the middle of this pandemic, Jesus Christ can can help you be a leader you need to be and disciple people. Jesus Christ can use you to save one more soul para hindi po siya pumunta sa hell. 111 million souls. And in the middle of this pandemic, Jesus Christ can use your life to heal every disease, to heal every sickness, to heal someone from COVID and release this country from this pandemic. Amen po ba yun? Yan ang kayang gawin ng ating Panginoong Yes Christo sa buhay mo ngayon. Sige po pala pangan natin si Lord. But we can only experience it if we take the next step of our calling. If we take the next step of our Christian walk, dun lang natin ma -e experience po yun sa ating buhay. And as sinasabi ng Panginoon para sa ating yun, you know what, there's no more need to fear in taking your calling. There's no more need to doubt sa pag-take ng next step mo sa buhay because ito na yung pinapangako ng Panginoon Iso Cristo para sa ating buhay. I am the true vine at wala kang dapat ikatakot pag ipaplant natin yung ating buhay para sa Panginoon bakit? He is the way He is the truth and He is the life para po sa inyong buhay Sige pa pala pangan natin si Lord and not only that sinasabi po ng ating Panginoon si Cristo My Father is the vine dresser and He saw that already our God is all powerful our God is all knowing our God is all present at kung kasama po natin ang buhay na Diyos, wala po makakapigil po sa gagawin po natin. Amen po ba yan? Sige po palapangan po natin si Lord. So today, are you ready for more? Church, are you ready for more? Because today, we're gonna have an altar call 
Later on, we're gonna stand up from our seats. But today, I want a real, genuine, no hidden agenda altar call. Na tayo po itatayo mamaya, hindi dahil napilitan lang po tayo. Hindi po tayo tatayo mamaya dahil nakikiuso lang tayo sa katabi natin or dahil sinabi ko lang. Mamaya po tatayo po tayo kasi yung sinasabi natin kay Lord, alam natin na rin may gitay na, sinasabi natin, Lord, gusto ko na yung plano mo para sa aking buhay. Sinasabi natin ngayon, tatayo tayo dahil sinasabi natin kay Lord, Lord, sawa na ako sa buhay ko sa mundo. Sawa na ako na yung plano ko na susunod. Gusto ko na yung experience na meron ka para sa aking buhay. Today, sa pagtayo po natin, sinasabi po natin, Lord, from this day forward, genuinely, truly in our hearts today, sinasabi natin, Yes, God, I want to follow you all the days of my life and I want to take the next step of your call for my life today. So today, church, are you ready for more? Parang di tayo manin Lord, are you ready for more? Yeah. Because if you're ready, I'm gonna count to three at sabay-sabay po tayo tatayo. So ready na po ba kayo? In three... Two, one, if that person is you, stand up from your seats today and let's give God a praise. Hallelujah.